There are plenty of really good plugins out there from various companies that do a great job, but some of them can be quite expensive and for the guy starting out, uh, not that accessible. So I went and trawled the internet and I tried to find um, free plugins that I could use to see if it's possible to put together something reasonable using only free software. Let's take a look at what I found. Okay, the first plugin I'm using is uh, called Keyzone Classic from a company called Bitsonic and it's a really nice collection of pianos and electric pianos. Here's some examples. <laughs> piano roads very simple very basic uh, drum kit called MT power drum kit 2. It also comes with lots of grooves, um, its own rhythms and loops you can put in, but I always like to obviously just play my drums in, in real time. Uh, this cute bass guitar called Ample Bass P2 Lite. Very simple, just a four string Fender style bass um, with quite a lot of flexibility, buzz on the strings, um, you can tune strings, um, you can change the EQ, but I'm just going to use the stock preset as it comes out. I'm not a guitar player, so I've got to look for guitar plugins all the time. I find this DSK dynamic guitar is quite useful. I find it works well in the mix. You hit hard, you get a nice little bend. Now this one's really cute, um, Sonatina Orchestra. I'm really amazed at the quality of the orchestral sounds for something that's free. Here's violin. Comes with a whole bunch of uh, orchestral sounds. Here's the string violin section. This is like quite amazing. Uh, on the edge of Creepy, it's called Alter Ego, and basically it's a vocal plugin where you have a choice of a couple of voices. I've got a lady called Mari Ork loaded up here. And the idea is basically you type in words over here. So, for example, I've typed in the words Mr. Producer. And then you play your keyboard and for every note you play, it plays a syllable. So we have...
Dat is wachter.